Hey guys and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. My name is Deck and today we're gonna continue our story of Bingo Bingo Buffins. Oh how that that Bill will bang song goes. Oh new title. Linguist. Alright, uh Goose and Gander. I've been trying to help Theodore Gort. That's probably where the goose comes from. Unravel the latest cryptic message. Because it may be that solving it will lead to the real treasure. Here, I will read you the message. We already have the message. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. And what's bad for the cat is bad. It's dead over yonder. Goblins and spiders and plodding and fighters. Lest, lest our relative novice seem perplexed and non-pulsed. Too many spell dangers, so look to the spell for the answer. It makes no sense to me, maybe... Okay. I know what the spiders and the goblins are, so... <laughs> I'm quite perplexed, and just a word of this... We can't tell what's over yonder if you don't know where to start, can we? Oh, I'll never find this treasure, should I've stayed retired. There is something unusual about that message. There's something unusual about this message. Oh my word, really? No Maybe way, that's something unusual. Oh, unfortunately, I think the meaning is quite above this hobbit's head. All we know for certain is at this point, the second story must be surely be in the Lone Lands. Other than that, I have no idea. Find it if you can, my adventurous friend. It's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Is that a typo? Look at that, that's kind of obvious. Look, T H E, the Lorn. Hmm. The Lorn Span. Oh, the Lorn Span. Oh, I know what that is. Uh, right here. No, right here. No, right here. <laughs> Third try was it. The lawn span. Okay. Well, that was. See, this is kind of. The... I don't know if I missed something the last one. But this is good. You know, this you can figure this out. The lawn span. Too many spell dangers. So look to the spell for the answer. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, the spelling. There you go. Yeah, the lawn span. Okay. See, I like this one. It makes sense. It was, you know, it might take some people a little bit longer to, to figure this out. But, yeah, it makes total sense. Of course, you need to know the lawn lands. If you don't know the map, you know, the lawn span won't help you at all. But if you know the map, you know that this is that bridge over there. Alright, so we just have to go there and hopefully find that uh, strong chest and help bingo. But if you haven't yet, you should definitely listen to uh, The Tale of Bilbo Baggings by Leonard Nimoy. It is something. <laughs> just just for the costumes that I was wearing that back then. Up oh. oh, there's my dog again. Hey, what do you want? Oh, ow, okay. Ugh. Yeah, every time I record, my dog needs to be, you know, laying close to me, on me, above me, under me. It just needs to be somewhere close to me. Alrighty. So all we have to go is go there, uh, go to the lawn span. You can either go from Osgurov and go this way, or you can go this way. Either way will work. You gotta cross these goblins. So if you're on level, you probably don't want to go this way because you're going to fight a bunch of elite goblins. These guys, which are quite tough on level. They're just coming up on the other way. Go for this. And then, I don't know if it's going to be on it, under it, between it. We'll find it out. We find it. Is this not it yet? But this is the way we have to go. Is this is an old quest. The weird symbol there. But the launch man should be uh, coming up right here. This is it. 
So it's either under it or on it. It makes more sense for it to be under it. Kinda wanna go back now, look at the other one, see if I missed something this way. Probably down there, huh? No, just on it. Wow. I have a feeling it's not gonna be the last one. Yep. <laughs> the end now. Bring the free road part to theater scores again. Another cryptic message. Wish I could read it. You could teleport us there for Mifra coins, but mm, come on. What's that? Alright, so let's go back. Mm, let's go down here. I don't think I will break. No, I broke. Six seconds. That was worth it. Nah, <laughs> there's the delayed break for. No, it's over already. Cool. Alrighty. So, after this, this is probably it. Wow, that was a short one. I guess if you know where to go. I mean, the other one was pretty short too, it's just finding the spot was difficult. I'm still not figured out how you should have known that there was this little torrent there. At least this, you know, it's a marked thing. That one was not marked at all. Hmm. I don't know. See what he wants. Are we gonna get our title? That's for certain. Uh, right there. You sold the message? Of course I did. Let me see that treasure. The end now. Well, I guess that is it. We have the victory. This is the treasure, and our mysterious riddle master has acknowledged that we had success. I'm happy. I hope you're too. That can't be it. Is that really it? Uh, Theodore might be happy with this result, but I am not. Now that we have a taste of treasure hunting, I will not be happy until we follow this chain of riddles to the end. Surely this cannot be it. Oh, I'm not happy about this. There had to be more. The end now. I do not believe it. Next week, the end now. That was it. Level 32. Get our title. You know, the end now. Maybe the last bridge? Kind of the end of this. I gotta assume we go into the troll shores. Nah, uh, kind of would make sense level wise. Oh, we could go up here. Nah, that would make more sense. It's the last bridge, it's the end of the Lonelands. I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out next week. This was a short episode, a short thing. It's an easy riddle, but at least it was a riddle that you could solve. We got a new title. You fancy the study of words and study the fancy words. Ooh. Alrighty. Well, thanks guys. Uh, as always, see you next time. Thank you for watching.